Dear Sears and Madams, at first let me say thanks for the organizers of the conference for possibility to present my work here. I truly apologize for such form of the report, but due to circumstances beyond my control, I was unable to come to the conference. My presentation will be dedicated to antibodies-based drugs. I would like to share with you our original way of using antibodies as immunotherapeutic agents. From the time of the first discovery of monoclonal antibodies, there were registered about 30 monoclonal antibodies for medical use. Such drugs are proved to be effective but have a number of limitations while using. Besides the high price, some problems with stability, elimination and administration could appear as well as the issues of restricted target numbers. The pharmacologists do their best to modify the antibodies to overcome these problems. As a result, fusion proteins, FAB fragments, immunotoxins were invented. One of the novel approaches is the manufacture of release active antibodies. The initial substance for them is rabbit polyclonal antibodies to different targets. The basement of this technology is a consequent decrease of the initial concentration combined with the physical treatment. As a result, at the end of the dilutions we received a technological product which activity associated with activity of the initial substance but is not the same. The activity releases during the technological treatment. So, Professor Oleg Epstein, who was the first who discovered this phenomenon, called it release activity. The final dilution is approximately near 10 in 24 extent. Obviously, the extent of dilution is very high and there is a high possibility that there will be no molecules in the final solution. But the physical foundation of this process is under the study at the moment and I am going to tell you about the pharmacological features of such drugs. So, how release active antibodies work? Regular monoclonal antibodies based drugs block the target preventing the binding with receptors and other targets and, respectively, developing possible signaling ways. Release active antibodies do not neutralize the target, but modify the activity, changing the ability to interact with their biological receptors. Such an idea come from nuclear magnetic resonance experiments, where it was shown that interferon HEMA in presence of release active antibodies to interferon HEMA changes its conformation. We will succeed to find the amino acids which are mostly influenced by release active antibodies. To prove this hypothesis, we use radio ligand binding assay, which shows us that the binding of interferon hammer with its receptor was significantly increased in presence of release active antibodies to interferon gamma. By this time, Materia Medica, the company founded by Professor Epstein, produce about 20 medicines based on release active antibodies to different targets. There are cytokines, neuropeptides, receptors, 
enzymes among them. As I said before, the initial substance for these drugs is rapid polyclonal antibodies. All stages of their production, from peptide synthesis to immunize the rabbits to affinity chromatography of the obtained serum, are carried out in the facility of AB Biotechnology in UK. The manufacture of the final dosage form, its dispersible tablets, are conducted in Mature Medica facility in Russia. For least active antibodies based drugs, it was performed the plenty of preclinical studies and high percent of them was done in leading research companies in USA, Europe and other countries. More than 100 clinical trials of efficacy and safety of least active antibodies were conducted. Some of them are cited in the list of clinical trials of USA National Institute of Health. You can see here on the slide. There are a lot of publications about release active antibodies based drugs in Russian, but recently we started to publish a board. Example of articles you also can see on the slide. Because we have a lot of drugs, let me tell you about three of them. The first one is a drug containing release active antibodies to interferon gamma. Interferon gamma is a cytokine with antiviral and antiparasitic activities. The second medicine based on release active antibodies to S100 protein which is a calcium binding neuropeptide, which play an important role in appearance of depression and anxiety. The last one, based on release active antibodies to endothelial and O synthase enzyme, catalyzing the production of nitric oxide. This enzyme is one of the responsible for appearance of sexual motivation. For all of them, I will show you examples of preclinical and clinical studies of effectiveness. Here you can see a study of effect of release active antibodies to interferon gamma against the typical DNA virus, genital herpes. Guinea pigs were inoculated with virus and treated with release active antibodies to interferon gamma or controls or referent drug acyclovir. The effect of release active antibodies in decreases of virus titer and clinical symptoms were higher than the effect of acyclovir. Efficacy of release active antibodies to interferon gamma against RNA virus was studied on influenza. The result for release active antibodies can be compared with the effect of the standard anti flu substance azotamivir. Clinical effectiveness against DNA viruses were confirmed with a study on children with chickenpox. Randomized double-blind placebo-controlled study in 236 patients showed the significant decrease of the clinical signs in release active antibodies group in comparison with placebo group. Randomized double-blind placebo-controlled study in 255 patients with respiratory viral infections flu mostly also showed the significant decrease of the main clinical symptoms as cough, fever, intoxication, 
rhinitis and catarrhal signs. During the study of effect of release active antibodies to S100 protein, the Virgil conflict test was used. The principle of the test is a conflict between thirst and fear of electric shock. The number of attempts to drink is a sign of anxiety level. Activity of release active antibodies to S100 protein were on the same level with the reference drug. Randomized clinical study of this drug in comparison with diazepam also showed the effect of release active antibodies in both scales. And now I think it's time to leave anxiety and move to the last drug for today. As I said before, endothelial and oocentase play an important role in the sexual motivation. In the study of red sexual activity, it was found that release active antibodies to endothelial and oocentase not only increased the sexual activity, but the number of sexual inclinations. Clinical trial in patients with erectile dysfunction showed the high percent of responders in this study. More than 30% of patients returned to the normal erectile function. Important part of any antibodies based drug studies is a safety. The safety of release active antibodies were estimated in different preclinical models as acute toxicity, chronic toxicity, allergenic properties, mutagenic properties, etc. No toxic effects of release active antibodies have been revealed during that studies. During the clinical studies and the post-registration observations, no signs of adverse event were received. Thus, you could see that release active antibodies based medicines are the new drugs with high efficacy and high safety. It is important that they do not have limitations of standard antibodies, such as price, stability, negative immune response, etc. Finally, there are no restrictions in a target chosen, so such substance is a platform to rapid screening and developing of the new drugs based on release active antibodies to different targets. Thank you very much for your attention. Please do not hesitate to contact me in case of any questions. Uh, by email, which you can see on the last slide on the screen. It was Elena Gavrilova from Materia Medica, Russia. Thank you.